Hello and welcome to this video. So in this video, we'll be talking about the comparison test. And in another video, I'll be talking about something very similar called the limit comparison test. But for now, let's just work on the comparison test. So earlier, we looked at the integral test. And the integral test was a test that we could use to test for convergence or divergence of a series. However, that test doesn't always work. Because, for example, let's consider the following series. So suppose we have the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of 1 over 3 to the n plus n. Now, if I define the function f of x is 1 over 3 to the x plus x, we would now have to, use, if you want to use the integral test, we have to integrate this from 0 to infinity of 1 over 3 to the n, 1 over 3 dx rather, plus x dx. And this, well, this would be very difficult to integrate. And in all honesty, I don't think this can even be done in terms of elementary antiderivatives. So we need another way to kind of approach this. So let's talk about the integral test and what it exactly is. So let's write down the integral test, or no, let, let's talk about what the comparison test is. So the comparison test. Okay, so let's just go ahead and underline all of this. There we go. Okay, so the comparison test works in the following kind of way. Okay, so suppose we have the following situations. So suppose we have two series. So the first series is a n and the second one is b n. And both these have a few conditions. So suppose we have two series a n and b n with a n or b n both of which are bigger than or equal to zero, so they're non-negative, for all n. So for if you forgot, this symbol means for all. And a n is less than or equal to b n for all n. Then we have the following situations. Okay, so if the summation from of b n is convergent, then so is the summation of a n. Now we have a very similar situation for divergence. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paste these things. So number two, if a n is divergent, then so is b n. So very similar, but yet different. Okay, we gotta be a little bit careful about the situation. The opposite is not true. So for example, if a n converges, that doesn't tell us anything about b n. And if b n diverges, that doesn't mean that a n necessarily will. So you gotta be a little bit careful because the opposite situation may not necessarily hold. So how does this test kind of work? Well, let's just kind of use the same example we were doing earlier. So the first example, we have the following. The summation from n equals 0 to infinity of 1 over 3 to the n plus n. Okay, well, in order to prove convergence, you need a bigger series. Well, let's take a look at what's going on here. We have 1 over 3 to the n plus n. If we removed this part of the denominator, what happens? Well, then the denominator gets smaller, and if the denominator gets smaller, well, that means it becomes bigger. So we know that this must be true. Okay, so and so by the comparison test, we can if we can prove that this thing converges, the original must also converge according to rule number one right there. Because if Bn converges, so does the original. Okay, so let's go ahead and try this. So this implies we have the following. 
So we have the summation from n equals 0 to infinity of 1 over 3 to the n. But then this is equal to the summation from n equals 0 to infinity of 1 over 3 all to the n. <coughs> but let's just kind of, you know, investigate this for a second. This is a geometric series, and the absolute value of r is less than 1. So therefore, this converges. Well, what does that mean? That means that the original series, by the comparison test, so the original series also converges. So as you can see, not too bad. This was fairly straightforward. All right, let's do another one. All right, so let's do this particular series. All right, so now we have the summation from n equals one to infinity of n over n squared minus cosine squared of n. Okay. So let's go ahead and kind of compare this. So if you use this as comparison, we get n over n squared minus cosine squared of n. Okay, now because we're subtracting positive terms, <coughs> that would mean that if we remove this part of the denominator, we would get something that's smaller. So for example, we would get something like this if you remove the denominator. Now earlier, we kind of went the other way around, but that's because in this case, we have cosine squared of n. This will always be a positive number. And if we subtract a positive number from a positive number, this denominator will be much smaller. So if you remove this quantity, which we're subtracting, this must be smaller by definition. Okay, that's interesting. But, this, but then this thing is equal to one over n. But as we know, the summation from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n is the harmonic series, which is divergent. So we don't need to do any further work than this. We know that this thing series original oh, diverges right away, meaning that this thing, so the series that we were originally working with, also diverges. So once again, not too bad. Okay, let's do another one of these. So suppose this time we have the following series. So I should probably make these questions a bit consistent, right? Show if the series converges or diverges just so we were clear about uh, what we were actually asked to do in the question. So copy, uh, let's keep going. Uh, so copy paste that. Copy paste that here. And let's do the same thing with this particular series. So this time we have the summation from n equals one to infinity of n over the square root of n to the 5 plus 4. And same thing, we want to show if the series converges or diverges. Well, let's do a comparison test once again. So we get n over the square root of n to the 5 plus 4. So if we delete this part of the denominator, we know that this is good. Uh, de deleting this will make the denominator smaller, meaning that overall, the, the overall kind of sum is going to be bigger. So we get the square root of n to the 5. And then if we write this as exponent and then cancel with the n to the 1 on the top and simplify the powers down, this thing essentially just becomes 1 over n to the power of 3 over 2. Okay, so we can instead use our comparison test with this series. So we get the summation from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n to the power of 3 over 2. But then this is a p series where p is bigger than 1. So therefore, 
practice converges. Meaning that the original series in question, so right here, also converges. So once again, nothing too bad. So pretty straightforward. Okay, let's do one more example and then we'll call it a day for this video. Okay, so this time, suppose we have to summation from n equals 1 to infinity of 2 times the arctan of n plus 5. And then we would divide this by 1.5 to the power of n. Okay, now because this starts at 1 and the arctan of something goes looks something like that, for example, at n equals 1, or rather at x equals 1, this thing is positive. So for the purpose of this series, this thing is always going to be bigger than 0 for arctan. And we know that arctan is bounded by pi over 2. So we know that 0 is going to be less than arctan of n, which is less than pi over 2. Okay, well, this is just, what is this saying? Well, this is to say that arctan of n will always be less than pi over 2. So if you multiply both sides by 2, we get 2 times the arctan of n is less than pi. Okay, let's add 5 to both sides. So we get 2 times the arctan of n plus 5 is less than pi plus 5. Okay, now let's divide both sides by 1.5 to the n. So we get 2 times arctan of n plus 5 divided by 1.5 to the power of n is less than pi plus 5 over 1.5 to the power of n. Okay, so what can we do here? Well, now we have a series that's bigger, so we can use the comparison test with this series. So if we go ahead and use the comparison test, we'll get the, the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of pi over pi plus 5 over 1.5 to the n. Okay, but then we can pull the pi over 5, pi plus 5 out, so we get pi plus 5 times the summation from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over 1.5 to the n, but then this is the same thing as pi plus 5 times the summation from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over 1.5 to the power of n, but then this is a geometric series where r is less than 1, or rather the absolute value of r is less than 1, so this converges. Well, that just means that, by definition, the original series in question, so right here, let me just put this down here, so we know that this thing also converges. Okay, that's really cool. So this concludes the examples and the theory behind the comparison test. If you have any questions about any of the examples, let me know in the comments. Or if you have any questions about any of the concepts, let me know in the comments, and I'll be happy to answer. But otherwise, if this video helped you, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll really appreciate it. Thank you all so much, and have a great day.